How do so, I fix? So I'm going to answer this question. The question My was partner. about basically how do you co-parent with somebody who doesn't want to heal? I'm going to tell you, simple answer, you heal. Mm -hmm. Because like we said before, this is a whole energy topic now. We're going to have to get into this another day. But 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 when you heal, when you are a well oiled steering wheel, then the, the, the person that's trying to infect that steering wheel ain't got no choice because there is no room for them in that space. So you do the work. This is why I tell couples, when couples come in here and say, oh, my husband, my wife need to be fixed. They need this. They need that. Okay. But are you willing to do the work? It's all about you doing the work for you. You heal. You check yourself. You sit back. You approach from a place of curiosity. You go into it and say, listen, what do I need to do for me? How do I need to fix? How do I become the steering wheel that I'm supposed to be? You, you, I'm in a marriage, right? I love my, my my marriage is in the most beautifulest place that it has ever been throughout our going on 12 years because I'm healing. I was a long time. She needs to do this. She needs to do that. And I'm pretty sure she was a long time. I wish she would do this. I wish she would do that. So but the thing that really changed the relationship was when I was like, I need to fix me. And then I heard this from the teachings. You don't condemn a dirty glass. You just hold a clean one next to it. Yes. Meaning, I need it. to be the spouse that I want her to be. I need to become the change I want and to so, see. And so what's going to happen is either, in his case, either she's going to get it together or the relationship is going to fall away. Here's why. Because energy is like attracts like. Energy has to go where it is accepted and felt and bred together. And, and, and you cannot see, you cannot have a, a, a clean water and a dirty glass. If you put yourself in this situation, either one of two things is going to happen. Either these people are going to get on your side or they're going to get gone. And that and, and so the and so that the, the trauma is the triggering part is for a lot of us. How do we deal exactly. with that? How do we deal with that if they decide mm -hmm. they don't want to deal with us no more? How do we deal with that? Well, you know, to me, um, a relationship is like a piece of garment. You know, when you go buy something in the store, you want to wear something, right? It looks good on the shelf, you know, it looks good on the rack or whatever, you know, just like when you go meet somebody, that person, ooh, that person looks good. So when you see that garment in the store, what you, you, you say, I got to wear that. It fits me well. Same thing. You meet somebody, oh, that person, man, wow, she's, she's me or he's me. Or, you know, we get along well. But after a while, that piece of garment gets a little dirty, you know? Just like in a relationship, it starts, you know, some things, you start to have little problems, you know, here and there and stuff, complaining, arguing a little bit, this, that, and the other. So when you get a piece of garment, what do you do? You put it in the washer when it gets a little dirty and try to wash it, you know, wash it clean. Just like in a relationship. You get in a relationship, you know, you're having problems and get a little dirty, right? You try and find ways, to, you know, to, to, to fix it, you know? So you're in the process of trying to wash it, you know what I'm saying? So you take a piece of garment out of the washer, what? It's still got wrinkles in it, just like in a relationship. You try things here and there and stuff like that, but it's, you know, it's got a little better, but it's still not there, you know? It's not working. So what do you do? When a piece of garment is wrinkled, what do you do? You get an iron. You get that iron and you try to iron those wrinkles out. And the iron to me represents help, help from somewhere. You, you know, if you're in a relationship, find that iron. I don't care if it's a, if it's a therapy or if it's an older couple that you need to talk to and sit down and talk to that person. This is what, if you really want to be with that person. You find that iron wherever you can to get help to keep that relationship going. Especially if it's worth having, right? You know, there are irons out there. There are. Therapy doesn't cost much these days. You know, you can buy a session for $60. Now, a marriage uh, uh, or a relationship session might be a little bit more, but that's not that expensive. It's affordable. The main thing is you need to find that iron to help you work out your problems and work out the situation that you're going through at that particular point in time in your relationship. Find that iron. Find it. You won't be sorry.